Absolutely. So let's get ourselves into game number one, not only of this series, but of the tournament itself. The Rocketeers are going to take on Fnatic as ELMP does a very good job of the immediate challenge. Siki can't get there in time. And Fnatic, early pressure put on, put on them, but they have managed to deal with it. They've got the clear. A very good start from Rocketeers, getting that pressure, controlling the mid two boosts. Yeah, I think the analyst desk said it right, that game one of the tournament is going to be a little bit nervy. There's going to be a few misplays and touches, but those early goals could really throw off uh, Fnatic. If, uh, if ELMP and his team's mask and, uh, teammates Mask and Imagine can put an early one in, they won't be feeling as confident in this best of three. Everyone from Rocketeers starting to move themselves back, realizing that they had potential to be overcommitting. Fnatic still on their back foot, though, trying to find a way to play the ball out. They've completely taken away from themselves recently their long clears and instead try and find each other with passing plays across the field. But still, Rocketeers have the opportunity to maybe boost start them out. Now the counter-attack play comes in. Siki can't quite get contact. And now the Rocketeers will immediately return to the offensive side. It was nice to see there the Rocketeers passing out of defense rather than trying to hit a powerful touch first time. Look for a teammate, get a bit of speed on the ball and allow them to clear it further. And that did relieve a lot of pressure. If they can keep doing that, then they shouldn't get caught in their own half too easily. Maestro managed to do quite a bit of damage on the dribble. But still, Rocketeers taking their time off the backboard. Cannot quite be followed up. They need to get someone on Fnatic baited out if they want that to do any sort of damage. It's going to be dangerous if the contact is not good. Still being played to around. Now Fnatic can put some offensive pressure on of their own. Now a big clear. Only Siki can get to contact. He's laid it straight up to Maestro. Both these teams just battling it out. And for Rocketeers, this is probably the best start they could get outside of a goal. That was a nice aerial control there by Imagine. That's the kind of thing you want to see, using that air roll functionality, which is normally that of a higher player. If you're doing that in a land setting, then you're feeling comfortable with your mechanics. And that is a tough area of the game when there's a lot of pressure on you, perhaps for a Imagine Mask, and, and I think even for ELMP, they haven't had much experience on this stage. And so it is going to affect them more than potentially other players, and that kind of commit might do it. Absolutely. Now Snasky, he's on the side. He's got options in the middle, managed to play, but they can't quite turn it in. Rocketeers, that was your warning. Do not double commit against a team like Fnatic. Getting away with it this time, the LMP. Not quite there, but the follow-up. Two players were close enough around, both of them a little bit too polite to each other. And no one takes control of the ball. Snasky, your very typical Batmobile player, always be afraid of those flicks. Now the LMP's got control. Mask could potentially be around, but the pass not quite there. And this is a problem I currently have with Rocketeers as a bad play. Almost results in Siki being able to set up. But Rocketeers, they seem to be going to the same cookie cutter plays quite often of trying to bounce off the backboard. Yeah. Fnatic very good at holding themselves up there, waiting for the ball to come around. You just feel like they can be a little bit more proactive off the ball. Oh, for sure. You, you mentioned a very good point there. The backboard isn't looking dangerous against Fnatic. Not only are they going up there and clearing it away themselves, but they're very good at reading those touches from inside the goal. So even then, oh, shot coming in. Maestro there finding an angle, sneaks it past two defenders, and that is going to relieve a little bit of pressure for Fnatic. The first goal of DreamHack open in Leipzig. Imagine was on the wall, but he couldn't quite figure out if his teammate was going to get there in time. So that will give Fnatic their first goal of this series. Only 90 seconds now for Rocketeers to turn around their fortunes. That may be the opportunity for them to just figure it out a little bit more, talk to one another, and come up with some new ideas, because once again, that backboard is a no-go zone against Fnatic. Big clear. Maestro should be able to take control. He's going to go off the backboard himself. He's actually managed to catch a very awkward angle, but imagine. Well, Red will keep it away from a danger zone. Infield pass will be snuffed out by ELMP. But this is what Fnatic can do so well. Position each other oh, for every defense. possible defensive escape route, and they will squeeze the life out of their opponents. No matter how well you defend, even here, Mask able to read that incoming shot from Siki. It's not going to be enough as the pressure is still on. Snasky, though, finding that top left corner with perfect precision, undefendable at that point, and that's where taking multiple shots, forcing saves, saves can really help you open up an opportunity. Well, you can see Snasky, he was smiling after that goal went in, feeling comfortable now. Might as well be as Fnatic have managed to really turn the valve in the second half of this match. LMP too far forward. 
Now only Mask is the player back. Maestro was trying to go for something fancy. Didn't quite get it to work out. Redirect can come in. Still dangerous. More and more shots happening. And I feel like Fnatic have noticed that Rocket is are a little bit jumpy with their defense. Happy to try and cover everything. And when you try to cover everything, you end up leaving gaps. So just put the long ball forward and see if your opponents want to make the mistakes for you. Indeed, as we're entering the final moments here, it has looked very much in Fnatic's favor, been on the back foot for most of it, Rocketeers, and any opportunity they have tried has been snuffed away very easily, especially off that backboard. Perhaps change up the style in which they play because game one is going to be going to Fnatic. Ball up high. Fnatic just want to put more and more damage down, but it will not happen. Game one over to Fnatic. And Rocketeers are going to need to make the most of this time because they need someone creative to come up with some new way of breaking down what has been a stout defense. They need to create some speed on that ball because all of their plays gave time to Fnatic to get back, get on that ball and touch it away. Whereas if they send in a shot quickly, perhaps with an infield pass or a sharp play to someone who's upfield on the diagonal, then that way they can send it towards the net, force a miss clear, and potentially get a follow-up shot. Absolutely. I want to elaborate on what you're saying there a little bit more because we did see them go for the backboard quite often. However, there's a way that that works. The way the backboard works is just it's designed to create panic. That's the only time it does work because you are trying to bait your opponents to either go for it or put themselves into a bad position, say, in net where they cannot possibly react. Dude. It doesn't happen without pace. Exactly. You've got to put it hard towards the backboard and give that defender one option out. And once you give them that one option, you don't even need to go for the shot. You can just follow up on what they're going to do and try and race the follow-up defender to the ball. Because obviously, every player is going to be racing towards it. But if you can get that read a little bit quicker, then you can intercept it, take a few players out of the game, and potentially, again, open up shots. It's all about building up pressure with these top teams. You're not going to get an easy way in. Well, you did see the Rocketeers exchanging a few words knowing that something does have to change. If you're Fnatic, just keep doing the same thing. I guess it was a very slow start for them, but they didn't really need to do much more than that. What's the perfect sort of game for them to ease themselves into the LAN environment? As we head into game number two, Champions Field. I believe this one's daytime as well. Each map does have its own variant. Once again, we're going to start off this match with Rocketeers on the offensive. Maestro going to go for the solo carry, but he does get shut down by ELMP. And now he's going to try and chase down Siki. He played that one very well. Took his time, went up the backboard, and forced ELMP to go into a bad position. Now the follow-up shot. There is Snasky. Rocketeers, though, causing their own downfall. Yeah, an unfortunate double tap off of the corner to himself, imagine, and then centering that ball. Snasky reading that quickly, and that is the advantage of momentum. Snasky was moving quickly. It allowed him to readjust to a mistouch, get into that ball quickly, and beat everyone to it and score the goal. And early goals are such pressure relievers for teams like Fnatic, because now all they've got to do is play smart, and they'll get goals given to them from the constant build-up of over commitment from this uh, this Rocketeers team as we have seen a few double commits in the past game. Ball up high. Mask trying to find the corner. Ball bouncing straight out. Snasky will be a little bit too far forward but still dangerous enough after a double commit as well. Only plenty of time for Fnatic to move themselves back forward. Great team play coming through. I'd be very thankful the defender was there but will there be anyone left to defend against this? Oh, oh just save. about ELMP. And that is 100% crucial. You have got the feeling that even though there's so much time left in the game, 2-0 would have just left so much work for Rocketeers to do, even though they haven't even scored yet in this series. Exactly. ELMP using that crossbar to send it away. Every tool he has. But just before that, it was Fnatic looking in so much control with passing plays. That is something that's always been very apparent from them, that everything is deliberate. They're always looking for each other. Even if it's a little bit slower than a lot of other teams' passing plays, it's less chaotic, so they are always in the right place at the right time. Siki managed to find a gap in the defense. Now an opportunity for Fnatic to move themselves forward. This time it would be LMP looking for a bounce pass, but go straight off that corner into the path of the defender. Now imagine, ball up high. Just doesn't really seem like there's much communication on the side of Rocketeers. There's ideas, but no one's quite aware of what everyone else's ideas are. More of a hit and hope that someone's around. Ball played out. There's a demo in the back, but the crossbar will be the difference maker. And now Snasky can clear away. Big opportunity for Rocketeers, not converted. Yeah, shooting is such a big difference in the top teams compared to these bubble players. 
if you can consistently score those goals that are presented to you, you're going to win so many more games, and that is a prime example. They could be level right now. But it's a very good advantage or a very good example that they are starting to change up what they're doing. That one had a lot more creativity, a lot more thought. Even like the, probably the first demo I've seen on the side of Rocketeers taking out one of the defenders. Speaking of defense, they have to do it right now. Fnatic are going to start asking questions. That is a big question right there. ELMP showing that you can try and play slow. Back in the prequel game, it was actually the slow balls that everyone agreed was the most difficult game or the most difficult save to make. Especially since you can't really get much power to get the clear. Now two minutes remaining, one goal still separating Fnatic and Rocketeers. Nice attempt there from ELMP. If you could have just caught it a little bit more, there would have been maybe enough power to take it past the Fnatic defense. And they're still on the offensive right now. That could go in. The Siki has it covered. And every single time Fnatic sent one player forward to defend the ball, 